<coughs> Hi people, it's me again obviously, Morino Ravenberg. You might have noticed that I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> this is the first and most likely the only video that I'll be recording um, in my underwear. And by default, I only have black underwear, I don't wear anything else. As a grown man, I don't wear fucking tidy whities or anything like that, so... Again, I do need to state that this is how I'm going to record this video for personal reasons. And uh, whomever doesn't like it is free to watch something else or not watch this video. I don't care either way. Like I said, you don't like it, bluntly put fuck off. That simple. Go watch something else. Um, it's either my way or the highway. Let that be very clear. Um, yeah, so let's get down to the subject matter. As you can tell, this video is going to be about something that a lot of people are not familiar with, which is the fifth element spirit. Everybody's familiar with the four elements, air, air fire, water. Um, or fire, air, earth, water, you name it, whatever order you want to list them in. And basic information that people know at a spiritual as well as material level is that these are the four elements that make up the world. These are the four elements that make up the world as we know it. The earth is comprised of earth, air, fire, water. Okay, you breathe in air, you swim in water, you drink water, you destroy things with fire. The sun and its rays and everything is comprised of fire. The sun itself is one big ball of fire. And the earth, you walk on the earth itself and you plant stuff on the earth to feed mankind and everything else in existence. Pretty much, I mean, that needs to be fed. So all mammals and whatnot, <laughs> you name it, it just goes on. In any case, yeah. Um, those are the four elements that make up the world, and that's also the case at a spiritual level. I already did a video called Elemental Spirits, as well as in a corresponding article and vice versa. You're free to wait until the end screen to check that out for that video, or just check the link of the description. Just check the link in the description of this video. You're going to find a corresponding article to this, to the subject matter of this spirit, because obviously I'm also going to do an article on the fifth element spirit on my website, or not so obvious for people. In any case, I'm going to do a, an, an article that this video is going to be embedded in. And uh, in the article, you can find links to everything I mentioned in this video. Um, the article, including the article about um, elemental spirits. Now, um, as also with the mentioned video, elemental spirits, by the title of it, the, by the name of elemental spirits, uh, also embedded therein. Uh, blah, 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 etc, etc. You know the deal. Um, you can find any link, anything interesting, anything that I mentioned from this point on for in the video. Uh, in the article, in the corresponding article of this video. I'm trying to talk too fast. I'm trying to say so many things at the same time. That's just the way I roll, the way I do things. I'm almost tripping over my, my own words. To the point where I'm almost tripping over my own words. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, um, the fifth element spirit, um, yeah, I have a treat for people. Uh, I have two spirits that are mentioned in the article. One is called Gregory. The other one is called Malkusht. That's how his name is pronounced, Malkusht. It sounds a lot like Malkut, as in Malkut, the, the element earth. Um, my beloved Vice Lord Sandalphon, my number one Sandalphon, based on priority rules over that, the Archangel Sandalphon. Um, he says hi, of course, etc. It just goes on. Samuel also says hi, as usual, and as always. Mm -hmm. um, with the exception of the high part. Yeah, it. Um, these are two spirits that are mentioned in the article. Gregory is uh, a spirit elemental, so he's an elemental spirit from the plane itself, the plane of spirit. Um, and uh, Malkush is a spirit that is a dark elemental. He's essentially an inferno spirit. He's the anti-elemental um, equivalent of um, of Gregory, not literally, but in a matter of speaking, in a sense that he is an anti-elemental spirit um, that inhabits the plane of spirit or the element spirit itself. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to keep this video as short as possible. Like I said, I'm not. I don't want to like um, go over the same information that's already mentioned in the article. You want information, then read the article. Um, I'm simply going to bring up things and discuss things that you, generally speaking, will not find in the article and vice versa. That's the whole point, otherwise it's just repeating myself from text to speech and vice versa. Um, yeah, the element spirit, 
uh, as fifth element, the same way that the other elements deal with the refinement of the respective elements, as in fire that deals with all things fire based and people that sorcerers that want to work with fire will specialize in fire as in managing fire. But of course, not in a geeky way like avatar or literally fire bending, although that is possible, possible, but highly, highly impractical, not to mention very far fetched. Okay, so mastery of fire at a spirit at a man, at a thingy, a material level is wildly impractical and like out there. The stuff you only see in cartoons and anime and stuff like that looks cool, but no practical value, little to no practical value whatsoever. Um, so primarily, obviously, you're dealing with the the astral. For example, the same way that for example that people that want to work with the element fire, fire rules willpower. It rules mental strength. It rules. Um, anything relating to that, accomplishing goals through sheer destruction or through sheer burning, so to speak, quote unquote burning. Uh, sorcerers or magicians that want to work with the element fire and want to perfect it will have perfected the art of willpower, of anything that requires spiritual fire, anything that requires tremendous levels of willpower, drive, um, and to simply make themselves overall more tenacious in terms of personality as well as bestowing that upon anyone else, as well as potency boosting of all basic clairvoyant traits, honestly. Uh, that's, a fire, that's the general definition of a real life fire magician, a fire mage. She specializes in fire. Um, in that same context, the element spirit specifically deals with the refinement of spirit, as in one spirit as element. So by spirit, I mean your astral body, okay? Every every sorcerer knows what their astral body entails or what it means. Man is compri- for people who don't know. Man is comprised of soul, astral body, physical body. Your astral body is what the average person calls your spirit. Your spirit is the the spirit version or the astral version of your physical body, and it sub- supersedes your ast- your physical body in the sense that your physical body can't live without its astral counterpart, its spirit counterpart. Because your spirit controls your physical body, okay? Without a spirit, boom, you're dead. You're going to drop dead. You're just like a, a, a puppet without strings attached. Yeah, you know? Your physical body is the manifestation of your um, astral body. Uh, that's just a brief, in, uh, a brief um, summary for people that are watching this and have no idea what it means. So, yeah, um, your astral body, that's your spirit and that's what this element's specializes in okay this element honestly compared to all the other four is in a matter of speaking the most important out of all the five okay so it supersedes in a certain way the other four but only in 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 terms of theology in terms of um in terms of um in terms of speculation okay in terms of theorization but that's it okay obviously there is no black and white matter in this regard and all the elements are necessary, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but the element spirit specializes in that. It specializes in um, it specializes in one's astral body and the evolution of someone's astral body. So the evolution of someone's spirit and the refinement thereof. The spirits that inhabit this uh, elemental plane, this dimension, can just can help you exactly with that. Gregory, the spirit I listed in the article corresponding to this video and vice versa, he specializes in that. Okay, he can make you essentially, or he can teach you. He can bestow upon you, or either bestow upon you, or he and or he can teach you to become so spiritually well refined that you'll be like in near perfect harmony with the cosmos and obviously also with the physical world, you'll just become a lot more refined uh, spiritually, um, mentally overall. Literally your astral body, your astral body, your spirit will become more refined. And as it becomes more refined, it brings about it a myriad, a host of um, benefits or of added benefits. So it's not just what we know basically as clairvoyance, as in becoming clairvoyant. Clairvoyance purely deals with uh, teaching yourself how to see energy instead of only seeing the material, how to see and manage and 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 manipulate in a non-negative manner energy and to master energy, spiritual energy, as well as uh, spirits and whatnot. The way that every sorcerer does, the way that I have, for example, like no other, obviously, even if I say so myself for the millionth time. Um, 
but in a different context. Let's just say from a cosmic perspective, you will be in at its at its peak. You will be in near perfect, to per perfect and near perfect harmony with the cosmos, with everything at a spiritual level, and um, obviously the material world, since the material world is a manifestation of the spirit world, and you'll just be in perfect tune with everything. It's like um, it's like being able to tune into all the frequencies on a radio, an, an AM or an FM radio, sorry, at the same time. And yet everything is overviewable. It's like watching 20 matches at the same time, 20 football matches or any kind of foot sporting event. And you can follow everything. Everything is clearly overviewable. That's the best way you can compare it. You'll be in perfect and near perfect harmony, Gregory says, with... Um, with the the cosmos and that will bring up with it like i already said a myriad of benefits you'll be like you'll be in touch with everything almost and you'll notice a lot of things that usually the average person overlooks so it's slightly different than uh, clairvoyance clairvoyance focuses purely on the spiritual from a spiritual vantage point but this is from a cosmic vantage point um and the symbol for the element spirit is an obsidian egg. For those of you that don't know what obsidian means, it means black egg. Uh, and if you want to work with spirits from this elemental plane by default, they lay an emphasis, a heavy emphasis on darkness. The same way that, for example, as a sorcerer, you want to work with fire spirits. You know that, hey, I need to like, I need to bring a lot of fire into the equation. Okay. So by default, I need to have like a lot of fire near me when I host a ritual. If I have an altar or a ritual space, it needs to have a lot of fire, obviously in a controlled and manageable setting. Um, and it just goes on. I need to like make everything fire red or orange because it's the color of fire, blah, 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 blah. The usual, the usual stuff. In that same context, and since I'm on that subject, that's why you're seeing such a heavy emphasis laid on darkness in this video. The only reason I'm leaving a light on is because otherwise you guys wouldn't even see me. You guys would just hear me talk. And you would see like minor lights from my laptop on the outer ends and whatnot. Okay, it. Uh, I was planning on making this video even darker, but I was told that it's not necessary. You don't have to go that far and that extreme. And it's also no coincidence where I'm con coincidence. I mean, it's no coincidence that I'm wearing completely black, um, and that I'm not wearing my pants because my pants aren't completely black, um, and that just everything is black, and that today is. Saturday. Nothing is a coincidence for me and I'm well aware of it. It's not a coincidence that I'm covering this subject now. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know that um, the fifth element spirit exists. For people that don't know, um, or I mean, for people that are wondering where I got this subject from, um, I was already aware of it, but I never paid attention to it. It was one of the basic things that I went through in my astral training. Uh, when I worked um, out of uh, Constantinus's book, Summoning Spirits, The Art of Magical Evocation. You can also find that book, um, the video would be on that book in the end screen or at the end screen um, of this video. Um, not linked in the description, only at the end screen. So really be on the lookout for that if you're seriously interested. And um, in that book, I was taught as a beginner about the fifth element spirit. And I also, it was one of the, the planes that I visited. Uh, but for the rest, I never looked into it, really. I focus purely on practical results the way I do up to present day. But I still thought that this would be an interesting subject to cover because there is, as far as I know, little to no knowledge out there or information out there specifically on it. Um, and I remember the way I had the astral travel to it is by looking at a black egg, so an obsidian egg, and on a white piece of cardboard or piece of paper. And I had to focus on it and then create a doorway and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you'll see that that's also the, the cover photo for, um, for the article, a transparent black obsidian egg. Anybody is more than welcome to use that black obsidian egg to uh, astral project to that plane. And speaking of that, I'm going to give you a short rundown on what that plane looks like. That dimension, it's pure darkness, no stars, no nothing. Okay, maybe one or two stars at best. It's like, imagine the sky, you being able to fly and you're in the middle of the sky and there are no stars, or imagine what it's like to be in a black hole. That's what it's like. It's like being in a black hole, everything is darkness, and yet you can still see. 
Um, but there are also like other black holes that bring you deeper and deeper into that dimension. And this is something that you should not do if you're a beginner. Do not go into one of those holes. Just stay in the main version of um, the black hole. Um, I can go through it and I noticed that I went through it. It's like, how do I put it? It's like, I don't know people that have ever played a video game. It's like a video game where you go in one door and you go in another door and then you go in another door and it keeps taking you deeper and deeper into the level of the video game to the point where you have no idea where you are, like a labyrinth and you're really like in the ultra depth, like ultra deep in the depths of um, that, that um, level. It's the same thing. One black hole brings you to another black hole and then it's like a ping pong effect. Boing, 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 and you're like, keep going deeper and deeper and you keep feeling the mental pressure more and more. And if you're someone that can't handle that spiritually, you're gonna get into trouble. But usually the inhabitants, the elemental spirits from the element spirit will warn you about it. They're going to tell you, hey, listen, don't go, okay? You're not ready yet for it, okay? You're not strong enough yet to be able to handle it. So you just, uh, you just chill here. And um, it's quiet. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it in general from a superficial genetic level or perspective. Um, last but not least, the corresponding day is Saturn, unsurprisingly, since Saturn is black in nature. So that's the planet that it closely associates with, um, with um, the element uh, spirit. Um, it's not a black and white issue. Do not think that it literally means that, okay, so Saturn rules the element spirit. No, it doesn't rule it. It's just the best planet out of the seven classical planets that you'll have in terms of, um, in terms of, uh, in terms of working with this element or spirits from this element. So the best day to work with the spirits from the element spirit is uh, Saturday when Saturn is at its strongest, uh, using the planetary hours calculator in the hour of Saturn. Um, and like I said, if you work with one of these spirits, emphasis is laid on darkness. Imagine if you have an altar to a spirit from the element spirit. Yeah, as much black as possible. Um, the spirit seal, um, maybe optionally the obsidian egg, uh, black candles, everything is black. Okay, patchouli is okay, but dragon's blood would also be acceptable uh, as incense and literally as little light as possible. As little light as possible is the key word. Okay, uh, of course, not so much to the point where you can't see what you're doing or where you're going or anything like that. Um, just the best you can do. Just only enough light to the point where you can make out what you're doing and how you're going to work uh, on a ritual, uh, from a ritualistic perspective. But emphasis is laid on darkness. You know, obviously, these spirits feel at home in darkness in a non, in a neutral way, neither good nor, 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 good nor bad but more good than bad, obviously, in a matter of speaking. So constructive darkness. Um, so don't think darkness as in ooh, evil or no, no. Constructive darkness, okay? Saturnian darkness without the harshness. The harshness is also present, but in a necessary manner. Um, and there is no archangel ruling the element spirit, the same way that the other archangels don't really rule the elements. For example, with fire, the closest you would come to is Michael. Michael does rule fire, but not like in a set in stone black and white manner, okay? Uh, the same way that the Archangel Oriel rules the earth, but not in a black and white manner as in, oh, oh okay, no, no. Sandalphon rules the earth, but from a different perspective. The same way that Oriel rules the earth, but from a cosmic perspective, whereas Sandalphon rules it from a Kabbalistic and overall spiritual um more practical perspective. The practical in the sense that most people that associate themselves with anything earth related, yeah, Sandalphon covers all of that, my beloved Sandalphon. Um, and um, is there anything else? Um, no, nothing really. Yeah, last but not least, the closest you'll come to an, a ruling archangel for the element spirit is no different than beautiful Lord Oriel, Archangel Oriel. He is the closest that comes to the ruler of um, the element spirit. So yeah, if you're looking for, hey, whom can I turn to? You know, what, which, which angel can I turn to, you know, as the ruler? Can I talk to someone in charge or speak to someone in charge? Yeah, Oriel is the one that um, will be able to help you out the most. Uh, emphasis laid on cosmicness.
cosmic consciousness. Uh, last but not least, I'm also going to attach um, an audio track that deals with essentially the element spirit or the closest aligns with the element spirit. It's something that people that follow me are already familiar with, especially people that bought my course in occultism because it's included in it. Um, yeah, ignore the fact that I have mail. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, in any case, you're free. You're welcome to listen to it uh, for free. Um, in the, it will be linked in the description of this video. I'm sorry, it will be linked in the, the, the article, not the description of this video, the article, the, the, uh, the, uh, the corresponding article, okay, on this uh, subject matter. Uh, I'm simply going to insert a SoundCloud link, a SoundCloud link there. And, uh, and yeah, that's essentially it. You can simply listen to that. Uh, for improving your overall level of cosmic consciousness and level of clairvoyance. And yeah, last but not least, the two spirits that I mentioned, Malkush and Gregory, all their information is to be found in the article as well, including their seals that you can download, uh, as always, for free. So that's it, guys. Let me know. Let, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any other questions. And until next time, bye-bye.